Oh, hi. Today I want to show you how to make a squeeze page in um, two free programs. Actually, we're going to make a squeeze page and I'm going to show you how to create a header um, to put um, into that squeeze page. So, let's get started. You're going to need two softwares and you're going to need um, www.xheader.com. That's where we will make our our header, that's the software, and be sure to go ahead and give them your email address because you get a lot of templates and um, they never contact me. I never hear from them. Anyway, and it's a great software. Also, there's Composer, which is what we're going to create our website in, our one page website, which is our squeeze page, and you can get that at the um, link that you see up there. So go get those two softwares and I'll meet you inside. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is um, open up X header, and this is what it looks like when we open it. And we're going to click on create blank header. And yes, we want 750 by 175, so we'll say OK. And then we get um, the software. Now, let me adjust this to size here. I'm just doing this kind of on the fly for you guys today. I think that. Um, it's going to be fun to have something, just a quickie, so you can figure, see how I do this. I like to. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is, um, what I like to do is make an illusion that's, that your header, that stuff is sticking out of the header. And I, did, I didn't even plan anything for this, but let's just create a square. Now, it's, this is going to be a black one. I'm holding my left mouse button down, and I'm dragging and I'm making a black square within a square. Then I'm going to go up to options and I'm going to round the edges. So here it says increase curvature. You can see how the edges are now rounded. I'm going to click options again and I'm going to round increase it one more time. Now I can click outside of this and it will be set. Now I can also click back in it and move it around by holding the left button down and moving this. Okay, so I'm going to say, yeah, that's cool. Now uh, I want to put a shadow behind it. So I'm going to go down to here and click Shadow Options. Actually, um, I have to make sure it's highlighted. <laughs> click Shadow Options, and now I have a little fuzzy shadow. And by manipulating these buttons down here, I can make that shadow over to the right a little more. I can make it to the left a little more. Right now it's on an average. If I blur it, I get this more of a blurry feel right there. I can also change the color um, right here of the shadow. A lot of times I use like to use a like kind of a powder gray and that might be a little too light. Um, let's try a little darker gray. So that's kind of nice. So let's just say that we're going to go with that. So now let's, um, let's see, what should we call the squeeze page? How about blueprint secrets? Okay, so let's click on text. We'll type into the text box down here. Blueprint secrets. We'll just say that we're in the uh, internet marketing niche right now. We click on the box. It's black text. Of course, we can't see it. Let's click on and get it in white. And there's our blueprint secrets. Verdana, right here, I can change my font options. So I will say maybe we want um, Century Gothic. Maybe something. How about this? No, I don't like that. Okay. Um, that, that's okay. And I can make that bigger too because this is my title. So let me make a huge, okay, blueprint secrets. And we can just kind of eyeball that and center it. So we kind of already have um, everything we really want to see as far as um, what it, what are we talking about, Blueprint Secrets. So we click outside. We can put some uh, subtext of, under this too, you know, step by step, but we'll probably put that in the text in the squeeze page itself. Actually, let's go here and add an image. Let's see what comes up. My desktop. Let me go to my swipe file. I'm looking for an image that is a PNG file, a ping file. So let me go in here and um, if you don't have a swipe file, it's a great type of folder to create on your desktop where you can put all kinds of uh, graphics that you might want to use and that you find online that you might want to use for for different projects and that's what I do all the time. 
Okay, Blueprint Secrets. Uh, let's see here. Maybe it's in the uh, internet marketing field. So that's kind of cool. Look, that came up right there. I like that there. Let's put that outside of the. And let's um, let's make that just a little bit smaller. We can do that by manipulating the edges. So here we have a dollar sign and a computer. So we really are saying we've got some computer blueprint secrets. We can click on the text again and move it over a little bit. Okay, that's kind of cool. So there we go. We right now have just created a very simple, nice header for our squeeze page. We can click up here on Save As. Let's save it as a JPEG. And right here we see that we have choices of best, better, poor for internet. I always choose the um, the best. So I'm going to double click that. Go for list. So it's under N. Um, let's see here. Where is it? N, 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 N. Okay. Um, or a new video, new video, new video. Okay, so let's call this um, header blueprint secrets. So BPS. Okay, save it. All right, so now that's done. We've got our header. Let's move over to our um, squeeze page. Okay, so now uh, we have opened up Composer. This is what it looks like when it's open and we're going to first thing we have to create a table we're going to click insert table we want one and if you go to precisely you can type in 750 width and that's what we want 750 width so we do one table and we say okay and you can see that it's over on the left border we're going to double click that go to tables see where it says table alignment here click center apply it moves the table over we say okay now put your mouse arrow inside of the table and hit the enter button you can just press on it and that will create what's going to be the inside of our um, one page website okay so now we want to click on the top and we go up here to where we can center Okay, so now it's created a little red wrapper and we are centered. We we're going to go get the image. <clears throat> okay, and we click this little folder. And remember, we have uh, the image in our folder. So I'm going to desktop. It's in new video for list. Here's our header open. No, we don't want alternative text. Now, the reason that you would put alternative text in here is for search engine optimization. You would put in uh, Blueprint Secrets so that when people are searching, they would have another uh, way to find you through images. Okay, so there is our header. Now, I like black and gold. I think I'm going to put black on the outsides of my squeeze page. So here's how I do that. I go up to um, Format. I go to page colors and background. I click on custom color background and I'm going to click on black and I say apply. And as you can see it turns everything black. So I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm double clicking in the table properties and I'm going to say background color I want to be white. Now you'll see what happens. I apply now the center is white and the outside is black. So this is what our squeeze page is starting out, starting to look like. Now, if we want to preview this before we go any further, we have to save it. So let's click on Save. Let's call it Blue Print. And we will save it in our folder. Remember, when you are saving uh, your uh, items for uploading with your FTP, client which is how you upload your images squeeze page and so on to your hosting you need to save everything in one folder okay your images your squeeze page uh, anything that's going to be uh, on the page so let's take a look at that now that it's saved we click on the browse button and um, Internet Explorer will come up and show us what our squeeze page looks like so far let me make this a little smaller I'll move it over a little tiny bit 
so here is our squeeze page so far kinda cool huh so now all we have to do is fill it in let's make that small and all we have to do is start putting our text in so we could put um, remember features and benefits are the are the important thing on a squeeze page so you would say stuff about your blueprint secrets like step by step um, learn step by step how to whatever the secrets are build your list let's say um, so learn how to build your list learn how to build your list step by step with the exciting new free course blueprint secrets okay so here's our hypey line we're gonna highlight that we're gonna put that in the center we're also gonna click on this A here and make it bigger see that A makes things bigger we're gonna bold it okay so learn how to build okay now we save that now we can go back to our page that's up this is our website and we can refresh it and there's our text okay